Chrome OS 100 is rolled out to most Chromebooks at this point, and generally speaking, we would be making a video right now about all the new features. But because we've kind of been talking about all these upcoming features over the last few updates, we've kind of covered down on all the stuff that Google released with Chrome OS 100 in the stable channel. That being said, one of the features that rolled out with this update is the new dictation feature. And dictation has been around for quite some time on Chromebooks. It's hidden in an accessibility setting that we're going to talk about here in just a second. But this new version of the vocal dictation in Chromebooks is pretty awesome. And I don't think I really realized it when they said it was rolling out. I thought it was just kind of a small update to an accessibility feature, but it's really, really awesome. So we wanted to show you. All right, so as we said in the intro, this isn't a flag or some like hidden setting or anything like that. It's It's been around in Chrome OS for a long time, Dictation has, and it's an accessibility setting that you can get to by just going to your settings uh, and then just type Dictation up here and it'll get you right there. Oops, help if I can type it, there we go. Click into there and it's gonna highlight exactly where you need to go. Um, you don't have to turn on all accessibility features. You don't have to turn on the accessibility shortcut over here. You can just turn on this one single thing and you will see a, a little mic pop into place right there and you're basically ready to go at this point. And as you can see right up there, press search D or everything button D uh, is the shortcut to pull this up. You can also just click the microphone down here as well. Uh, but I like having a keyboard shortcut for this kind of thing because generally speaking, where you're gonna use this would be in a text field. So let's open up a, a quick Google doc real quick um, and we'll go from there so that you can kind of see this thing in action. So let's go to Google docs here and go to docs and we'll just create a new document right here. I'm going to crank the, the size of this text up nice and large for you there. Okay. So as you can see, obviously I can type in this space. So anywhere you can type, which means Omnibox, anywhere, anywhere you've got the cursor, basically you can start this. So I'm going to click down here instead of hitting control D, but as you can see, watch it highlight there and it's on. There's a small sound. Let me turn it up and see if it'll, it should be nice and loud here. That way you kind of know when it's turned on and off. And so you hear that ping whenever it's ready to go. One other thing to note, uh, because we set this up obviously before this video, whenever you first turn it on, it's gonna give you a little message saying that uh, it, it needs to download um, some language to be able to do this offline, because it can do all of this stuff offline once you've downloaded your languages. If you're in the States, for instance, it downloaded English, uh, US English for us. Um, and that way it can do all of this stuff offline and not have to be sending your voice to servers. All right, so let's just give this a test run. I'm gonna hit search D or everything button D. We are testing the dictation function for Chrome OS 100. And what you'll see as soon as you stop typing it or stop speaking, it's actually going to put the text down. And you can see right up here, the <laughs> dictation box is, t is picking up everything that I'm saying uh, as I'm trying to read what I'm saying. It's really kind of throwing me off here. And as soon as I stop talking for just a second, it's going to plop every bit of everything I just said onto this page right here under what I'm doing. And there you go. So uh, let me bump that size of that up because when I went down, there we go. Just so you guys can see it. Uh, that what's here is, in, is not important at all. Uh, but what is important is for you to be able to see how this stuff works uh, once you're ready to start doing more than just dictating stuff on the screen. I do wanna show you one other thing real quick though before we get into those things is that you can dictate punctuation as well. All right, so let's give this a try. I'm gonna hit the everything button and D. Again, you can just click the microphone down here also and you're gonna hear the sound and I'm just gonna start talking for a second. What time do you want to go to dinner tonight? Question mark. I'm thinking 6.30, period. So I'm gonna turn that off so it doesn't record every single thing I said, but you can see you can dictate uh, punctuations, all that kind of stuff. It will not dictate, or it will not pick up on punctuation automatically right now. It's, that's just not something this is doing. Uh, this is less of a Google Assistant type tool and more of an accessibility type tool. So it's gonna wait for you to speak those punctuations in. For me, I prefer that if I'm writing a document or an email, I wanna be able to specifically put my punctuation in. And if you've been using voice to text for any amount of time, you're probably used to doing this already. So it's kinda of nice to see it working in that way. 
So now I'm going to do a little bit of a longer paragraph and continue talking without adding punctuation or anything like that. So you can see what will happen if you don't stop talking, if you don't take breaks to put in commas and periods and capital letters and all that kind of stuff. It's just going to string one huge thought across this bubble up here. And at the end of it, when you finally stop talking and give the thing a break, you actually see all of your text pop into whatever text field you have in front of you. So just like that, I've turned off the, the, the uh, dictation for right now because I don't want it to keep writing everything I'm saying up here. But you can see there's no, there's no uh, uh, commas or no periods. There's nothing in here. It's just a stream of consciousness. So if you're trying to take a quick note or something like that, that's fine. But obviously, if you're trying to like craft an email or something, you do need to speak those particular punctuations into existence. But it's basically going to listen to you until you stop talking. And once you stop talking, it give it a quick pause and it's going to take that text that's up there in that bubble and drop it into whatever text field you got. Now, there are a few other things you can do with this and Google's kind of created a help page for it. And if you turn the dictation back on and just say help, help. It'll automatically take you to another page. It's turned the dictation off. So there's, I found some times where it just turns dictation off for you automatically, and that's nice. But it will keep running sometimes. So just be aware of that. As I was testing, it was picking up people around the office. Again, it's not Google Assistant, so it's not just going to hone in on my voice. It's going to pick up anything it hears. So you want to be in a position where you either have a microphone just on your voice or you're in a relatively quiet room for this. But if we scroll down this help page right here, you can see all of the commands currently that dictation works with. And just like when I said help, it brought me to this page. These other ones work in the exact same way. So I'm gonna drop this over here on the side so you can kind of see these in real time. And I'm gonna put my cursor in here and let's do, we'll, we'll do some selecting and unselecting real quick. Select all. Unselect. Okay, so now I'm in a spot where I'm ready to start typing again. Uh, it's actually still listening, so as soon as I stop talking, it's gonna pop that text field in there. All right, so now I wanna show you a couple of these other commands here. So like cut, copy, and paste, for instance. So I'm gonna select my text and then just use dictation to cut it. Cut. Paste. Undo. Redo. And so just like that, you can see all these cut, copy, paste, undo, redo, select all really work well. Equally beneficial are things like new lines. So if you're talking and you're dictating a line of text and you're ready to start a new paragraph, you can tell it new line and it's going to move the cursor down to the next line so you can kind of start a new paragraph again without stopping and having to type anything. So let me give that a try real quick. I'm at the end of my paragraph period new line, new line. Now I'm going to start a whole new paragraph period. And in this new paragraph, I am going to use it to maybe do some bold italic and underlining period. All right, so I'm gonna be pretty straightforward here. The final three I'm gonna to attempt to show you here on camera, bold, italic, and underline that are over here, were not working for me when I was attempting this uh, before we shot this video, but I'm gonna try it anyway and see what happens. So let's bring the dictation up. Underline. Yeah, that's what was happening before. Um, for some reason, it I don't know why those don't work, and I tried and tried to make sure I was speaking them clearly, but the, the dictation is clearly picking up on that command. It's just not working, uh, and it says it highlights, you know, it works on selected text, and so I even tried to use dictation to select the text, uh, so we can try that and try to bold it, and it wasn't working for me either. Select all. Bold. Yeah, that's no good. So you don't want that. Uh, for right now, I would say if you are thinking about using this uh, as a, something to craft emails and stuff, stick to the bold italics and underlines with your regular keyboard shortcuts in the event that you don't know those. Uh, control I, Control U, and Control B will get you all of those on Windows or on Chromebooks. Uh, with Macs, it's Command. So there, there are keyboard shortcuts for those things. But overall, uh, when we look at this kind of uh, set of instructions you can give the dictation, it becomes more assistant feeling now. It's not just 
uh, barfing out the the text onto the page. It's it's getting a little smarter and giving you more ability to sit down and craft an entire email. Uh, for the most part, if you're willing to speak your dictation and and your periods and your question marks and all that kind of stuff in. You know, you can sit down and, and craft an entire email with this uh, without ever having to really touch the keyboard. And I think that's the point here, you know, documents, emails, that kind of stuff. Again, this isn't Google Assistant. It'd be cool if one day they roll Assistant into this somehow, uh, just because the, the language model is so good with Google Assistant. But for right now, having this on device, knowing this works when you're offline, you can craft emails in the plane if you want to. Uh, Chromebooks are getting really powerful at this kind of thing. And this is one of those kind of unsung features in Chrome OS 100 that it's easy to miss, but was so cool that we didn't want to miss the chance to show it to you. But guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, go down there and hit that subscribe button and be sure to ring the notification icon next to it if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.